electronic payments, then electric cars, followed by advanced rockets. Now a high-speed transport system. What is billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk up to now? I'm Desire Brown and this is USA Now for August 12, 2013. Elon Musk, the visionary behind Tesla, SpaceX and PayPal, is sharing design plans today for a faster and cheaper way for high-speed travel. Hyperloop, a massive solar-powered tube, would allow passengers to get from Los Angeles to San Francisco in less than 30 minutes and travel at speeds greater than 600 miles per hour, with tickets costing less than a seat aboard a plane or train. The engineering is similar to the old-school pneumatic tube systems used by banks to suck your deposit to the teller at the drive through But instead of checks, the tube would suck, you guessed it, people. And just like bullet trains, it would travel with no friction, wind resistance, or chance of collisions. Musk has been dropping hints about the super-fast travel technology for more than a year, and even mentioned on Twitter the unveiling today. In May, he described it as a cross between a Concorde, a railgun, and an air hockey table. He even mentioned it in a Google Hangout for Entrepreneurs with Richard Branson earlier this month. In the same Hangout, Musk mentioned that he would not have time to build Hyperloop himself anytime soon. But as crazy as it may sound, the concept of tube transport may not be that far off. ET3, a company based in Longmont, Colorado, is working on an evacuated tube transport or ETT system, which it describes as tra space travel on Earth. Travel would be cheap and quick, and the company says it could move passengers from New York to Los Angeles in 45 minutes. Unlike Hyperloop, ET3's system uses two tubes, one for each direction, with car-sized capsules that house six people. According to the company, the capsules could travel up to 4,000 miles per hour, especially internationally. The company claims it is working with partners in China and has sold nearly 100 licenses for the technology. So will it work? Weigh in with your thoughts on Twitter using the USA Now hashtag and stick with us for more at usatoday.com.